You need to mix a 6% peroxide solution with a 9% peroxide solution to obtain 36 ounces of an 8% peroxide solution. How many ounces of each of the solutions must be used? Well, using the four-step strategy, we could let our variable say x equals the 6% solution and y equals the 9% solution. So step two, setting up our equations, we'd have that the solutions together, the amount of each, x plus y, should equal 36 ounces, and that also that final solution should be 8%, so we'd have 0.06% peroxide times the number of ounces x, plus 0.09 for 9% peroxide times the quantity y, should equal the total quantity times the 0.08 for 8% peroxide solution. We want to solve this system. Well, we could solve the top equation for y, so that y equals 36 minus x, so that we can substitute that into our second equation in order to have one variable. So we have 36 minus x in place of y. And then 36 times, I'm sorry, 0, 36 times 0 0.08 will equal 2.88. Multiplying out the left side, 0.06x, plus 0.09 times 36 will be 3.24, and then minus 0.09x equals the 2.88. Combining the x terms, 0.06 minus 0.09 is negative 0.03x, 2.88 minus the 3.24, if we subtract 3.24 from both sides, will equal negative 0.36, so that x equals, when we divide, will equal 12 ounces. So it's 12 ounces at 6%. Going back here, we had y equals... 36 minus, in this case, the x, which was 12, is 24 ounces, and that 24 ounces is the 9% solution.